All right, so it's kind of a nice day for the middle of winter. It's the week between Christmas and New Year's. Been sandblasting a lot of wheels. These are Isetta, BMW Isetta wheels. I'm gonna paint red, and I'm gonna paint these Subaru 360 rim halves silver. But I'm looking at my old cruddy truck here. This is my old shop truck. It's original, and it's like, well, I'm kind of in a painting mood. What should I do? So these emblems have been really bothering me for a while because they've been so faded. They're original. I could buy brand new ones. You can see it says Cheyenne, C10, and Super. Now I just painted this with the red and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna show people how I did that. I also put a little color on the V8 350 emblem as well. Cars these days don't have emblems, but uh, if you do have an older vehicle, it's really easy to do. You need a little brush like this, you need a screwdriver and a 3M pad and a couple of um, paint brushes and some lacquer thinner or paint thinner and I'll show you. We'll go to the side over here I haven't done yet. What you want to do, this is what the emblem looks like uh, in its original state, original state of disrepair. You want to take your soft brass brush and just scrub really lightly. Try to get all that old paint off. See how that um, the red is coming through to the chrome. You don't want to scratch it. It's very lightly. You can see dust coming off there. Same with the white. And if there's a really tight spot like around the letters there, you can take the tip of a screwdriver, wrap it with your 3M pad, and you can kind of get in there with the edge. Again, you don't want to scratch it. You just want to take the paint off. So this is how you would prep your emblem for paint. Take your time, do a good job, use your 3M pad and try to get all that old paint off and give, give the new paint something to bond to. All right, so we're gonna take a little time and we're gonna get this emblem prepped and we're gonna prep the other one and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. It's pretty amazing. Now on the other side, you saw that I did the background of this emblem red and you can see here that the eight is, um, black. On the other one, it's faded. I didn't know what it was. I thought maybe this was white or black back here. I'm probably going to do this red. It's really easy to do. Uh, follow along. All right, so people ask me what kind of paint should you use. Uh, we are using automotive paint. This is Delstar. It's old, kind of a creamy white Toyota uh, single stage. It's acrylic enamel. Um, it will work just fine. I don't use any hardener or anything, and I might be doing it all wrong, but it seems to be working out fine for me years of doing this and then for the red I just had some base coat um, again unprotected but it looks pretty well and uh, we're gonna get started here we're just finishing up brushing out our letters trying to get all that old paint out of there and see the dust still coming off so I'm gonna work on this side a little more and then we'll apply the white and uh, see how that goes we shook our paint up pretty good We'll take our opener here and we'll open our old can of paint. This is probably 10 years old. It looks kind of cruddy on the outside. Oops. Make sure we don't have any dirt in our paint. And the lid is just fine. So we'll just take a little bit of the lid, paint there. We'll take our paintbrush and we're going to try to make our, our brush tip as thin as possible so that we can get in. But what's interesting is we're not too concerned about being precise that's a pretty creamy white as we're going to go over the outside edges and basically wipe off any excess so here's a little more paint take your time if you don't like what i'm doing here you can buy new emblems now the base coat doesn't have any clear coat in it, so it's not as protected. This is acrylic enamel, which is single stage, which has a protection in it. If you have acrylic enamel, I would say use it. Okay, so we've got the E of Cheyenne. They're pretty well done. We'll put our paintbrush down. We'll take our clean rag and some paint thinner. You want the rag wet, and you're gonna wipe to the side. You want a tight finger, wrap around your finger like that and we're wiping to the side to bring back all the detail. See how we're doing that? 
all the chrome and you gotta uh, once your rag kind of fills up you gotta kind of rotate your thumb or your finger there take your time you can always do it again if you don't like the color you can change it you can do a blue pink black whatever you want so there's the E that looks pretty good we're gonna continue on and keep doing the whole thing All right, so we're just finishing up our last letter here with our white paint. It's kind of a creamy white. It's old paint. I was just thinking it's got to be 20 years old. It's left over from a job that I did a long time ago. We did get a little drip there, so we're going to clean that all up. So we're going to set our paintbrush down. We're going to grab our rag and just take your time. It's not very warm today. It's 50 degrees, so our paint's not drying very quickly. We've got a lot of time to work it. What we want to do is just get all, basically blot, move your rag, get a fresh finger there with a tight grip of your rag, and get your detail back. So we're just going to go all around the whole thing. You can almost take it and wipe it cr crossways, but sometimes that doesn't work so well. Ooh, it's drying, it's drying fast here. We're going to have to work quickly. So I'm going to use two hands to get this done. So this old Dell Star paint set up a little faster than I thought. I had to really go back and trim out my uh, the outlines of my letters to make the outline nice and crisp. Now you can do this many different ways. You can take the emblem off and lay it flat on a table so the paint kind of flows you know horizontal like like leveling fluid or you can do it simply on the vehicle like I'm doing now. The uh, other tip I was going to tell you is that let's say you were doing this and you made a big drip, like you filled up the E there and it dripped down onto the super. You can take your paintbrush and the rag you're using to wipe that is soaked with paint remover or paint thinner or whatever you're using, and if you just take it and wrap it, you can make sort of a sharp stick like that and you can get into really tight areas I don't know if you can see that and um, you can really clean it all up like if there's some excess paint on the top there like right there I can get in there without my finger and smearing any fresh paint it just takes some time um, and you can make some really good results so this is basically what the finished emblem looks like let's go to the other side of the truck and I'll show you what the old one looks like. It's quite different. Look at that. That's the original and you just saw the finished product. So there you go. That should help you out. It just looks a little better, sharper. I know the truck isn't beautiful, but at least the emblems look a lot better. <laughs> Have fun. Knock yourself out.